Okay, so I have set up, um, my plate to the side uh, so it can set up a little bit, but I can go ahead and start sculpting my food. Now, when you pick what food you want to make, I want you to think about like a theme. Like, don't make a plate of food that is, um, you know, a banana and a steak and a cupcake. You know what I mean? Like, think of something that goes together. Like, is it lasagna? Is it, um, you know, the side of asparagus? Is it um, a slice of pizza with, you know, some wings on the side? Um, so think of like a theme for your plate and think of something that goes together. It could be all vegetables, okay? Now, one thing you wanna do is um, clay, as you remember, cannot be this thick, right? This is a solid, you know, ball of clay. So clay can't be, I just call it the rule of thumb that helps me remember it, right? Any thicker than this. So let's say I'm gonna make, um, I don't know, I was thinking about a jalapeno. So I can't make a solid jalapeno um, because it's too thick and it'll crack when I fire it. So if you guys remember, and I think everybody took one of these home, um, this is called a loop tool. Um, they come in different, um, there's also trimming tools, they're a little sharper on the edges. There's so many different uh, sizes and stuff that you can get. Um, I just picked this one because it's um, more wiry. So I'm gonna get like the overall shape of my jalapeno. Oh, you know what? I have a plastic jalapeno. So yeah, I forgot I had my little, for Louise Nevelson, I had a little plastic, it's painted black, of course, but so I've got something to look at. It helps to have something to look at while you're sculpting your food, so I might not make anything that I didn't, you know, have access to. So, sort of kind of wider at the top, right? So before I really get into the, exactly the way I want this to look, I'm gonna take out clay from the inside. Now remember, this thing is going to go on the plate and be attached, so no one will see the bottom. So think of this as the bottom. I'm just gonna go in there and scoop it out. Let me take a couple passes. And then go around and kind of feel your pepper and make sure that the walls are not too thick. So it's kind of like when you're actually dealing with a pepper and you take out all the seeds. So see from one side it's going to look like a pepper and then on the other side it's completely hollow which will um, you know hopefully not crack. So then when I attach this like I might wait to do my details on my pepper. I kind of have the basic form. Um, when I attach it you're definitely going to score and slip Right? Oh, I forgot my slip. Okay, psh, 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 make sure I'm, I'm putting water on there. So when I put that down <clears throat> onto my plate, pretend this is my plate that I just made. When I put that down, you've got gravity that's gonna help you, right? All this is gonna be sitting on a plate. So don't worry if you don't think it's that attached. Once you kind of get it on there really good, um, it will, it'll, gravity will help you as it fires. So the main thing I wanna do is I just basically created a hollow pepper right and put it on my plate as, as you can see I left this bottom open can you see I left that open where it's attached so the air can come out so if you look at it from the side make sure that the air can escape you don't want to create a hollow bubble of air you want the air to be able to get out so you can also take like a little pin and just make it just needs a hole about the size of a needle tool um, so the air can escape as it's firing so then once I get it on my plate then I can go with my other tools and it's got this nice like little crease thing here and put that in maybe one on the other side too and I gotta do my little stem that hangs off And it's got like a little, you know, thingy at the end where the stem goes. This is actually kind of fun because this is all going to be, it's not coil or slab. It's just kind of like modeling clay, like how you guys worked with the, um, um, what do you call it? The, um, Sculpey, when we made the nativity scenes. Just want to be cognizant of the clay is not too thick and you're not making any air pockets. Put that little guy on the end. 
This is actually going to get a little creative with you guys. Um, you're going to figure out some kind of different um, tools you can use to make your textures. And that's a little long, I think. Um, yeah, but I think it'll be fun. So make your plate. And then as your plate is setting up, you can go ahead and start working on your food. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, you're just leaving the plate in there so that it can set up. So when you take it off, it doesn't, you know, kind of fall open. So you can go ahead and start working on your, um, actually, this stuck pretty good. I didn't have any slip. Um, working on the food that you want to put in there and go ahead and you can attach it if you want. Um, it's not going to hurt anything because it's just setting up to dry. Okay. All right. See you guys later.